welcome to Karen's Kitchen. I'm so excited to be here with you as always because I love sharing my recipes and my wonderful vegan lifestyle. Today we're going to get into some cooked vegan food, plant-based food, even though we do primarily raw food. Myself, um, you need a bridge. Uh, that's why I have cooked restaurants also. So today we're going to make a yummy burger and the ingredients we will use today will be pinto beans. Now you can soak your own pinto beans and I generally recommend that you soak them before you use them. If you have no time in the kitchen and you want to make them right away, I would grab a can. You're going to get some extra stuff that you didn't necessarily bargain for, but you'll get that bean burger done a lot quicker if you don't have the time. So let's begin. Uh, we're going to throw in our olive oil, okay? And you know what, don't be frightened if you want to use a little more olive oil, it doesn't matter. I'm going to throw in my grapeseed oil. It just adds a different layer of flavoring to it. You know what, I know I call for a smaller amount, but I always add a little extra olive oil. I'm an olive oil nut. It really brings out the flavor. Especially if you're not eating animal products, you need that extra fat to help the transition over. So we're heating our oil. We're gonna let that heat for a minute. Okay. I'm going to turn the fire up a little bit. And now I'm going to throw in my chopped onions. And we're going to let those cook until they get a translucent color. They're kind of like seafood. You know, I don't know about you, but I love the smell of sauteing onions. It just, it just really makes you hungry. It gets those digestive enzymes going. So now we've got our beautiful translucent, they're kind of see-through, and we're going to add our mushrooms, our chopped mushrooms now, okay? And like I said, you could use just about any mushroom you want. Now what I like to do when I'm sauteing the mushrooms with the onions is I put in just a pinch of the salt because it helps to break them down a little bit faster and it gets the flavors, you know, kind of saturated through. So now we'll saute these two together and we'll throw in our scallions beautiful color that we've chopped. Now while these are sauteing, what we'll do is we'll take our beans and we'll start to smush them. These are beans that we sprouted. I always like to sprout my beans ahead of time to soak them because then it's just like sprouting. You break down those enzyme inhibitors and you won't get gas. Okay, if you sprout them ahead of time. So now we're going to start to smoosh our beans while our ingredients are sauteing. Start to smoosh our beans. Now, if you find that this is too labors, and although this is really fun to have your children help you with it, smooshing the beans, you could throw this all in a food processor with the S blade and kind of break it down a lot quicker. So we're just gonna ah, use all of our strength to smush these beans with potato smasher. And smush, and smush. And now we're gonna add one of our aromatics. We're gonna add a little bit of cumin to it. Oh boy, I wish you could smell this. You know, I have to almost eat this by itself. What else could we do? We could put this on some pasta, put some just olive oil and mix it all together, some noodles. But we're going to finish making our burger today. Okay, we've got our smashed beans. And now we're going to add our mixture here to the smashed beans. And remember, folks, this is a burger without the beef. You can make very quickly in your own home. Um, you could actually put these on a grill too, if you wanted to. So we're gonna mix in our onion, our garlic, our cumin. All right, we're gonna add our parsley last. A little more salt to taste. And I want you to please remember, these are only guidelines, all right? You don't have to be exact. You want more salt, you want more pepper, you want more garlic, you want more onion, you want less, you don't want to add this. It's not going to make a difference. Make it your burger, okay? These are just guidelines. Um, almost everything I make, it's just been from putting together things that I've tasted in other places and just kind of decided, I want more of this, I want more of that. Don't be shy about making it your own. Okay, we've got it all mixed, and we're ready to make our patty. 
Okay, so we're going to heat olive oil again, or you could use your uh, grapeseed oil. We're going to heat our oil, and while we're heating our oil, let's start to make our patties. Now, if you find that it's not quite sticking together enough for you, you could add a little um, cashew flour. You can make your own flour. We'll be doing some of those. Or you could use any beans you want too. You don't just have to use pinto beans. You can make black bean burgers. You can make kidney bean. Oh, these are kidney beans. You can make white bean burgers. No, um, doesn't matter. Use your imagination. All right, we've got a patty. Let's put it in there. And this yields probably about six to eight patties, depending on what size you make them. So let's get our patties all made and cooking there. And then it'll probably cook about five minutes on one side and then about five minutes on the other side. This is kind of like a potato pancake too, you know? You could use potatoes and use it for breakfast. Um, item. Maybe you might want to use less onion and garlic and it would make a great potato pancake too. The same thing to say. Alright, we're going to let these cook for a few minutes. We'll flip them after about five minutes and then let's see how our burger tastes. Okay, so they look pretty well cooked now. We've got our burgers all cooked, but let's take out a finished product here. And what do we have here? Just like any other burger, you got chips, you got tomato, ketchup, oh, and I slipped on some soy cheese that we actually make here that we're going to be making. We're going to do a YouTube for you how to make the soy cheese. And tomato and onion, and you got a burger. Now, I need a tester today, right? Oh, you know what else I forgot to do? I generally put the buns on top just to heat them up a little bit and soften them up, get a little bit of that oil on them. You know, we want people to really feel like they're having a messy burger. So we're going to put the buns on top for a minute. You could actually put a top on that to help warm it up. Let's see. I need a taster. Hmm. I think Jason's around. He can taste for us. Hey, Jason, you want to come in? Okay, I got Jason here, my nine-year-old taster. What better person can give us an opinion of how our plant-based burgers are going to taste? Jason, do you eat animal burgers at home? He's so Real animals with four legs and a no. smile? No. Yeah. <laughs> you don't? I only eat burgers. You know, oh, th that's before they do Roundup. Uh, what do you eat on them at home? I've got cheese, mustard, and ketchup. I like ketchup. We're going to put ketchup on for Jason on our plant based burger, our pinto burger. Put some ketchup on here for you. And remember, that's the secret to doing these. You put all the condiments on that the kids or the wives or the husbands or the guests are used to having. See how it works. Okay. Here you go, Jason. Oh, oh, an onion got stuck. Okay, yeah. kids don't usually eat onion. We take the onion away. Let's go. Mm. We got it. Mm. It's good. Yay! So, stay tuned for more of our fabulous recipes from Karen's Kitchen. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube station so you can get notifications of all the new stuff I'm doing. Take, oh, you're still chewing that one. And subscribe to my um, Instagram and Facebook and become a partner with all of us in making these wonderful plant-based foods. Sweet to learn.